Hello YouTube, Robin Hood Bricks here, and it's Brick Hall O'Clock with a wonderful haul of packages sent in by you, my wonderful subscribers. Oh, and one from Bricklink.com. Right, so I'm going to do the uh, one from Bricklink.com at the end, and I'm going to start with these three that have been sent in. Uh, probably this huge one I'll have to put to one side. Wow, it is literally colossal. I'm going to put it on the floor. Oh, it's absolutely massive. Right. Uh, <laughs> so before that, I'll deal with these two, which may well have letters and photographs in, which I'm very much looking forward to. They're just as valid as sending in bricks. Believe you me, I really like to receive them and keep them oh, and put them on the fridge if they're photos. Right. So we've got a little package here from Rick in the Netherlands, who I think has sent me something before actually, but this is very well wrapped and it is, da, 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 oh, <laughs> a piece that I mentioned in another haul, I think, as being one that I didn't recognise from, was it his city with the photographs? And it was a Duplo pizza piece. And there it is. And I said, wow, that was really interesting. Wouldn't it make a wonderful sign? And I have got a pizza restaurant on the way, technically. I mean, I say that it's been on the way for probably about two years now, uh, partially because it's where uh, the SSP are arresting Santa still, even though Christmas is long past, because uh, I kind of use that error to put my camera gear and stuff like that when I'm filming. Uh, so yeah, I kind of like that place being vacant, even though it's a very um, you know, prominent spot sort of uh, next to the Chinese floating restaurant and in front of the town hall and stuff. But yeah, I was right, actually. It is a very nice piece on this sort of, what is it, light bright yellow or whatever they call it. Yeah, I like it, though. It's very good. I don't know how easy it's going to be to sort of mount. Sometimes um, uh, Duplo pieces are really easy to mount. Sometimes you have to do a bit of a bodge, like with the fish above the fish and chip restaurant. But I'm assuming this is a little note to explain the package. Ah, kind regards, Rick from the Scooby and Shaggy gift. All the best. Ah, yes, I thought you'd uh, sent something in before, Rick. Thanks very much for that. So yeah, just one piece, uh, but a really good, interesting one. So thank you for that from the Netherlands. So we'll put that there, I'm throwing it around. Then there's this one, please do not bend. So I'm thinking photos or maybe stickers, I suppose it could be. So I have to be careful with my knife because I don't want to cut through this and end up doing some damage. So I think I've done a good job there. I'm not cutting through. Here we go. Oh yeah, looks like both of my predictions are correct. Yeah, oh golly, yeah, we've got, oh golly, we've got all sorts of now. Let me just check I've got everything out of it. Yep. So we have got a letter from Gareth from Newport in Wales. Dear Robin, I'm delighted that you like my Dynamite train wagon so much. Ah, right. So this is somebody who's also written to the channel before. Everyone will remember that dyna uh, dynamite um, wagon in this sort of dark orange colour that I added the sticker dynamite to. Uh, I loved seeing the upgraded version on your railway. I have another surprise for you. I went on a trip to Legoland in Windsor and they were selling off your favourite sticker pack. Right. So that's this. Um, I've lost my place now. Uh, so I bought one for you. It's in the envelope. I hope you enjoy it. I collect squashed pennies and when I looked at the different pictures available in Legoland, ah right, so that's when you get a penny and give it a good thwack and imprint something different on it. Oh, it's that way up. I'm going to take it out of the bag. Uh, I noticed they had a Robin Hood. So I squashed a Robin Hood bricks penny for you. I couldn't resist it. And yes, it is an absolutely genuine Lego piece. Oh, hold on. Let me get it the right way up. Oh, wow, that is, it's me. <laughs> well, that might be the most unique and amazing thoughtful gift I've ever received on a brick hall. That is absolutely brilliant, isn't it? Not strictly a piece, but yeah, I get you. It's sort of a Lego piece, isn't it? Oh, I love that. I'm going to have to sort of mount that somewhere in my city somehow, maybe using blue tack or something, but you know, it's really cool. Oh, wow. Oh, I'm so glad you did that for me. That is so kind and thoughtful. Oh, that is just absolutely perfect. I'm still in my uh, gyrosphere at the moment, but you can see the likeness is perfect. Well, you can see the logo in the bottom corner, can't you? So uh, 
That is absolutely brilliant. Oh, thank you for that. It's funny as well, because there's also a Robin, a uh, full-size sort of brick-built figure, life-size, human-sized uh, one in the uh, store in London, uh, Leicester Square as well, which is quite interesting. A few people sent me a photograph of that. Uh, but yeah, that's really, really nice. Thanks so much for that. Uh, let me finish your letter. Uh, finally, I noticed you commented on the livery of my tram, so I thought I'd be, you'd appreciate a picture of my public transport fleet from my Lego layout. I continue to really enjoy the channel. I watch every episode from Gareth. Oh, well, thanks, Gareth. That is really nice. So here is the photos of the fleet of public transport. And I think the comment I made last time that it was all in the same sort of colour scheme and he's recoloured absolutely everything. So we've got the tram from 60097 uh, there, which looks really nice with a sort of green stripe on the bottom. And then this, I think that's the warm um, or flamish yellow orange, isn't it? Uh, and then we've got the tram... Is that is that from that city? Oh, it's sort of, oh, it's a blend of different sets. It's a blend of that old blue tram combined with the sort of new uh, tram ends, I think, or it's the one from that recent Lego um, city centre set that I didn't get uh, with the cafe, uh, with the uh, what is it, city diner and things in it. And then we've got the bus from that bus station set, the tourist bus, completely recoloured from the red, and that's from the capital city six zero two zero zero set. And then this sort of small one, which I don't recognise at all. So that must be a mock build, I think. Uh, it kind of looks like a few other builds, but definitely with some changes there. So, yeah. Well, you've been really going for your public transport. I mean, one of my favourite things in LEGO has always been sort of cargo, cargo yards and uh, harbours and things like that. I think LEGO City should always have uh, some boats in it as well as land vehicles, as well as aircraft. I think that's that makes for a really good city. But obviously you are a public transport nut, but that is really good to see. I quite like your mixed-use emergency services building as well with your ambulance, police and fire right next to each other as well with different colour coding. So, yeah, that's really good. And a really nice, neat and tidy bike lane as well. Yeah, your city's a lot tidier than mine. <laughs> well, thanks again for that, uh, Gareth. That is really, really kind of you. I do love that sticker sheet, uh, especially things like this Rock Festival sticker I've been using, uh, as you know, on my nightclub. But that penny is really cool. Ah, uh, yeah, thanks so much for that. So some really good uh, things so far. Now I'm going to probably stop the camera just so I can get into this big, big, huge box, uh, and then probably pull things up from it onto the desk because it's just too big. Right, so I have the package to my right and it is open, uh, but I can't initially see a letter, but I'm going to kind of decant some of the stuff. We've got a huge, wonderfully wrapped sort of present here. It looks like a sort of Christmas present, I suppose, with that wrapping paper. We've got, oh, I think that's the letter there. Hold on, let me grab that. Oh, it's kind of, I've torn it a bit because it was, oh, oh, it was sellotaped down, that's why. This is all from Morris. So, dear Robin, I hope you are well. As always, it is great to see the varied builds and projects on the channel. I'm particularly excited to see how the undersea cabinet turns out, and that is uh, actually why I'm sending you this box today, although not without adversity, which I shall explain below. We're about to embark on some home renovations that will change size and scope for projects, so a serious downsize has been ordered. Oh no! <laughs> At least for the short term. Several of these bits are from my general supplies, and I hope you find them of use. You will also find two larger items. The shopping bag wrapped item is for you, right? I can see that, yep. Uh, it was a pick up a while back, used but complete from eBay. Okay, uh, I don't think I'll ever find a good place for it in our own displays, but really hope uh, you see some great potential for the under the sea cabinet. Ooh, that's really intriguing, <laughs> I'm excited now. Whether as the set was intended, or with a Robin Hood brick twist. Oh, I'll definitely have that, I'm sure. Uh, I really love the sea creature minifigures. I don't want to spoil the surprise, but don't think you have them? Okay, so that's making me think Atlantis at the moment. Sea creature minifigures. Or, or um, maybe Ninjago. Um, the final wrapped present, ah, that's this one that I've already got out, is for the good lady Mrs. Hood. Ah, okay, right. Well, I'd better get her to open that one, hadn't I? 
Uh, we picked this up on sale to build the amazing Lego artisan sitcom suites. But this is also a plan that has to be scaled back. And I think you'll find this a nice thank you on behalf of all your viewers to recognise her contribution to the channel. All right. And for putting up with me, of course. <laughs> so that is good. Wow, that's really generous. And it's, it's a good old size. So I think I can guess... Well, actually, I think I can guess exactly what that is because if it's part of uh, the sitcom uh, series, uh, if it was her and what she might have mentioned, I think she's going to be crazy happy with that. And that's very generous, actually. Um, I was going to wait for a special occasion for both of these, perhaps a subscriber threshold. However, your very real progress with the cabinet led to an acceleration of my timetable. Well, we're almost at 25,000, I think, uh, I'm right in saying. So, you know, it's not too bad a timing. Uh, and yes, before I get too much progress on the way with the cabinet, it might be a good thing to do. Uh, this wasn't helped uh, with this being the third time I've shipped the items to you. Oh, no. After mysteriously disappearing twice, a very helpful member of staff at Parcel Force told me that they don't deliver Deliver to P.O. Box addresses. She was kind enough to do some digging at the Brick Nottingham sorting office and found them both to send back to me, hence this rather bumper package. It should have originally landed it early in January. Oh no, I'm really sad to hear that. It, it is true though, it's just Parcel Force though. If you use Royal Mail, they're absolutely fine, but for some bizarre reason, Parcel Force, who are kind of, I don't know, an equivalent service, don't have access to the P.O. Box database. So absolutely crazy. So if you do have a problem with that, do get in touch with me because if I get in touch with them, I can give them my, you know, street address and, and get them through. So you, you do get in touch if a similar problem happens to you. Uh, anyway, if you're reading this, all's well that ends well, and I hope you enjoy them. And thanks again for all the great content. All the best, Morris. Oh, who is YouTube MD0U8082. <laughs> That's like a randomly generated <laughs> sort of password or something, isn't it? Right, fantastic. Uh, right, so where to start? I'm just going to pull things out in no particular order. We have got a stunts bike. And you know I love these for my um, jousting. And this is one I don't have. So this is the Fire Lady, isn't it? Or at least... That's what I think of her as. There we are. Freya McLeod, I think she's called, with a very flamey sort of torso there. So that's great. Love those. Look forward to building that. Another official thing. This is a Dots pack with, oh, it's just Extra Dots Series 4. So we've got sort of mouths and shapes and any more printed ones? Should be some eyebrows and things, it seems. Can't see. Oh, there's one. What's that? What was that one? Oh, I flipped it over now. Useless. There's some other bits. Bits of faces, I think it is. Oh, there we go. Oh, a flame. Yeah. So lots of interesting things to use there. Good fun. We have got the bag that was mentioned. Oh, golly, that's heavy. Hold on. Oh, there is a ridiculous amount of oh, thud <laughs> stuff here. So let's, oh, I'm going to have to cut through the sellotape of this. Yeah, you really have saved up all of this, Morris. And it is, oh, I still don't recognise it yet. We've got what looks like a lot of Technic sort of goings on there. No, I don't recognise that. Oh, there's instructions in there. So if I don't work it out, we'll find out soon enough. There's this great big bag. Oh, oh my word. I know what that is. Do you recognise that character there? He's kind of a ghosty sort of um, pirate. And there is a ghosty shark, if you can see that through the bag. A great big shark with sort of zombiness. This is a Pirates of the Caribbean set. And from the size of it, which is absolutely huge, wow, it is the Silent Mary, I'm sure. There is one of the characters from it. So this is, if you don't know, a huge huge great big ghost ship that's in i'm not going to get the film right one of the pirates of the caribbean oh there we go dead men tell no tales is that one of the films so that is the ship there wow with cannon on the top with a ghost crew and all of its sort of bottom rotten out and missing and all these lovely um torn masts and stuff like that wow this is an absolutely crazy generous gift and I suppose the idea here is that I use this as a wreck underneath the waves. Wow, that would be a fantastic idea. I was going to have a wreck, uh, but my wreck was probably going to be about that big. <laughs> now I'm feeling massive pressure to make my wreck 10 times the size. 
I don't know how long this is. I hope it is a size that I can use in the cabinet without compromising it too much because if this were to take up a whole sort of floor, for example, of three underwater sort of floors, then it'd kind of be uh, quite dominant. So I'm hoping, or I could always use half of it or something like that, I suppose, that it will still work or maybe just trim off the sort of pointy front or something. It might save some space, but I'm really keen to try it. So I'm definitely going to build this, put it together, and you see there's the sort of zombie shark. How cool is that? That's like the, uh, uh, what's it called? The Sharkinator that I've got from Ultra Agents, but with those sort of holes in the side where he's been eaten or decayed rather probably over the years. That is such a beautiful set. And I think I've said that's crazy generous already, but that is crazy generous. I mean, just the weight of this bag alone, let alone the rest of this box. Oh, and there are all of the um, sails sort of ragged with age. Wow, really nice condition as well. So I think I can get rid of that bag safely now. Oh, wow, uh, if that wasn't enough, we're still nowhere near the bottom of this bag. So I'm gonna keep going. We've got loads of Egyptian stuff. I'm not tipping these two out, by the way, because it would just be an absolute mess. It's good to keep them all together. Um, we've got skeleton, we've got sort of a King Tut type uh, Pharaoh type figure and these wonderful printed pieces. They are absolutely great. Now, I don't know if I've got plans for a, oh wow, look at that one. I don't know if I've got plans for a, um, well, two of them, uh, Egyptian sort of tomb, but I suppose one could be underground or something. It would have to have been imported uh, into the UK, of course, I suppose. But um, yeah. Really interesting pieces there. Right, so ideas for this, where it could reasonably be used in Brick Nottingham. I mean, one idea is obviously a museum, but I do have a modern art museum already, so this would have to be a history museum, and I suppose that could be uh, something I could do, but two museums, don't know. Uh, also, there's the idea that I could put it on a rail carriage, of course, all being transported between two museums or something like that. That might work. Yeah, so ideas for that, please. God, we're still nowhere near the bottom. Right, I'm not tipping this one out, but here is an absolute load of trans light blue one by two tiles. So I can make a lovely watery wet area. This is actually really useful because um, I never have <laughs> the tiles I want when I want to do even a small thing like a uh, fountain, let alone, oh wow, and there's another huge bag of them. That's an absolute load. This, this is dangerous because if I've got enough to say do my marina, then it's going to force me to do my beach and my harbour. And there's a lot of blue base plates there. And that looks like an absolute ton. But I bet when I work it out, that covers about a tenth of it. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but it's, it's definitely very generous. Thank you so much for that. Then we've got a mixed bag here of all sorts of stuff. Wow. More concentrating on the sort of larger type pieces, I think. We've got battlement pieces in, oh, that's quite a faded blue, that one. Got a spiral staircase, that's got to be from Paradisa, I suppose, in that pinky colour, hasn't it? What else we've got in here that's quite interesting? Got uh, a, what they called sail for a uh, windsurfer, one of those revolving doors, and the middle bit. So that's always fun to have when you've got a secret base. Oh, Nice dish pieces, fronts of Fabulan cars. Oh, I always like these tipper pieces. I've got loads in red to go on a train build that I've yet to show you, but um, there's some yellow ones. And there's a cloth, some more cloth here. These must be sails. Oh, these are the dragon wings that I've used before, but these are interesting, so they'll be worth looking at. There's what looks like a big Formula One car in here as well. Wow, and... Ferrari banner and so on. Wow, so I'll go through all of that in detail later, but that looks like a good mixed bag. I'm running out of space here already. That is packaging. That is packaging. That is packaging. And then, oh, even more stuff. I suppose dots must have been on cheap wherever you uh, are, because <laughs> there's more here. Skulls, glittery ones, hearts. We've got... Oh, another one of those ones. We've got extra dot series five. This has got sort of hashtags and oh, look at that, the flamingo. Oh, I hope I've got one of those because that will go on my nightclub. Oh, there's an avocado there. 
some of these are really, really great. It's just a vast amount of sort of quarter tiles in sort of green and things that mean uh, I don't tend to buy them. But I'm really hoping that flamingo's in there, that neon one, because I mean, just one for a door handle of my pink flamingo nightclub would be absolutely awesome. So I'm, I'm genuinely excited for that one. <laughs> Then we've got, what's this one? Uh, extra Series 3. So this seems to be Animals Keep Out and things. A bit pinky purple. A bit Friends coloured. But some of these ones are dual moulded. They've sort of got gem pieces in. If I can turn that around. There you go. See that sort of dual moulded with a gem sticking out of it? So I'll have to think of some good places to use these. There's so many. Oh, and this one's got little charms on it. Ciao. A banana. Hola. A fingers. Oh, an alien. That's good. Is the alien sucking up a dog? <laughs> Something like that. So that's good. Yeah, I'm going to have to tip all these into a big pot and uh, really have an investigation into what's good. Oh, I was actually going to buy some of those. You see that little piece there in azure? I was going to buy some of those because it's just a tiny little stud with a handle on it. And I thought, oh, should I tell you? Yeah, I thought I'd do um, a little curling scene. Uh, and if you don't know what curling is, it's kind of a winter sport where you kind of have a thing with a handle on and you throw it along some ice and try and get it to stop right on the target and people have brushes in front of it. And I just thought that'd be really funny because it just reminded me of one of the stones of curling. So I'm not sure I'm going to do that, um, but I was in the market for getting some of those because I thought that was the exact right shape for a curling stone. But anyway, you're welcome to pinch that idea if you want to. And then last but not least... Some mini fig. Oh no, it's not even. It's not even last. <laughs> Actually, there's more to come. Some uh, series mini fig. Not series mini figures. Uh, builder mini figure mini figures. So we've got the butterfly girl who I don't have. We've got the blue uh, flower girl, and I'd have bought that blue flower, but I don't think I've got the costume. And one that I don't have is the chocolate Easter bunny. If we just flip round, you'll see there. So maybe he's one of the helpers at my sweet shop which I'm now starting to call Candy Lane because uh, I got that Candy Lane sign I'm going to stick on that build. So Candy Lane, the uh, X, uh, what's it called? Oh no because it's already got name stickers on hasn't it actually for the original uh, set Honeydukes. Oh well so I'll keep calling it Honeydukes or Candy Lane I don't know. <laughs> anyway there we go really nice to have those. Let's extend my collection. Oh and then yet more we've got oh what look like dominoes, but I think they're just the faces of a dice a thing from one of the Lego games. So I might be able to use those. Those are recognised <clears throat> as being from Tremor's tank and a computer screen. God, you've really had a clear out here, haven't you? Another mixed bag with a white old school shark. One of those lovely things we just used in our cargo area. Some sea pieces. Oh, that's what this is for, sea pieces, because we've got a gold clamshell. We've got this very interesting character from Ninjago. Don't know his name. Uh, oh, that's a very old sort of corner panel piece. Don't know how I'll be able to use that. I'll have to play around with that. And some other bits and bobs. Well, that's a very new pick-a-brick tile from 2022, Year of the Tiger. Uh, build a minifigure, rather. Yeah, all sorts of no. Oh, and a red balloon dog. Very nice, thank you. These are so good. And then this is the last bag. So this is last but not least. Is another bag, and this looks like it's got absolute ton of creatures in it. I'm going to tip this one out, I think. Oh wow! So we've got a couple of black octopuses, which. I have one of because I made it into that sort of uh, killer attack uh, ogle uh, sort of mechanized octopus, but that's good. They can be lurking in the deep. A crocodile, or most of one. A couple of sharks in different greys. Three of those. And some old school horses. And this is the thing that made me go, wow, this is one of the old Western horses. And it was for a uh, Native American rider. Obviously needs a blue saddle on there, but it's it's got a bit of damage to it, but it's very nice. I mean, I was almost at one point thinking of doing another fairground ride with a couple of horses, and these two would be perfect actually for it. And you dress up one sort of like a knights in armour type one, and one, well, just like this for a sort of western scene, and have a horse carousel, kind of like in one of those winter village sets that one of them's got a horse carousel. Uh, and it'd be quite small, you know, really small, sort of just a two horse one going round and round. 
Uh, and I may still have room to do that. So if I do, then these guys could be on it. Uh, dogs, dogs, snakes, spiders, scorpions. They're the hardest ones to use. I've only used about one so far. Parrot. Wow, absolute loads of stuff. Is that guy going in the dark? Ooh, I'm going to get my torch. Hold on. <laughs> Ooh, he partially is. The body is. So I saw him, there's a slight difference between white and glow in the dark white, and you can sometimes tell with the naked eye. But yeah, that body is definitely glow in the dark, but the rest isn't. But uh, yeah, good to have. So that'll glow nice in a future scene. So wow, uh, that is absolutely generous as anything, Morris. Uh, that is almost certainly the biggest package I've received, unless I'm forgetting one that was bigger. It's just the sheer weight of it is colossal. And this Silent Mary set, I'm really looking forward to piecing together. It is vast. I mean, wow. Two huge IKEA bags worth. Absolutely amazing. And we haven't even got onto Mrs. Hood's wonderful uh, Christmassy present, which I suspect I know what it is, but I won't tell her. Uh, let's see if she's available to come and join us. Okay, I have been called from my desk upstairs and I've been given the official headset, which is rather scary. So, um, hello YouTube. I am here with a big present, which is very exciting. Oh my God, it's got Lego wrapping paper as well. Yeah, it looks like Christmas to me. It looks like Christmas. <laughs> I'm not used to getting Christmas from the Lego channel. Obviously, this is normally Robin. Um, Robin, because I missed the start, who is this from? This is from Morris. Morris. Morris, thank you. Oh! You've been crazy generous. <laughs> He's oh my... his Lego uh, capacity. Oh my goodness, this is this is the queer eye set. I'm really sorry everyone if I go very high pitched and only dogs can hear me. Um oh! is this this is this is flipping expensive. Looks brand new and unopened <gasps> as well. <laughs> uh, oh my goodness. Um <gasps> All right. Okay, I just don't quite know what to say. Um this is um this is amazingly generous. Um I do nothing at all to bring any YouTube Lego joy to any of you. I can't quite believe someone's bought me this. Um Oh my goodness. So um I am I am a massive fan of Queer Eye. I basically started watching it when we had COVID and watched all six series in about a week and a half and I just found it really uplifting and lovely. And these are such amazing representations of the guys and there's even the dog, Bruley the dog. Um Oh my goodness. Thank you, Robin. Um so, so Robin was sort of joking. I'm just going to lift the camera up. Sorry, I don't normally do this. Robin was sort of joking with me that that actually this set was here and that um, and that you know I might like it for my uh, my study. And I sort of said yes, and then saw the price of it and said uh, no, this is too expensive. So, um, oh my God, thank you. I won't gush too much, and you'll have all seen the box you know on. You're um, going to have to build this. <laughs> I will build it. Mrs. Hood has not built a Lego set before. I haven't. I haven't built Lego set before. I will build it. Do I have to build it on camera? I no, don't no, want you'd to. No, you have to build it on camera. No. I don't build it on okay. Camera. Brilliant. So I promise you, I will. I will build this. And yes, so Bruley, it says in loving memory of Bruley because Bruley died. So the the new the new dog is called we, we Neon. We might have to rope you into um, reporting back on how you found it. And yeah, I bet there'll be uh, requests for you to have your own channel or something next. Oh, but uh, I don't think no that's way, <laughs> no way. Oh my goodness! So this has made my day. I've had a pretty crummy day so far at work. So this has hundred percent made my day. And um, well, look, you can do the makeover. I can do the makeover. You get somebody pre makeover <laughs> and post makeover, and you can do the reveal. And there's Tan with all these lovely clothes, and Jonathan Van Ness, and Anthony. Um, I'm being told to wrap up. I'll wrap up. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Thank you. Um, I'll go Thanks, back to. Morris. I'll go back to work now. Thank you very much. <laughs>
Well, I think it's fair to say that she liked that. Uh, she's taken it, so <laughs> I think she might be starting that rather than doing some work. Who knows? Uh, I'm going to save my BrickLink package for a future week because we've had such amazing packages here that have taken ages to go through. Uh, I think it's enough, really. I mean, wow, I've got so much stuff to build clean play with do all the rest of my good stuff with so yeah i'm very happy mrs hood certainly is very happy and i will try and rope her into reporting back on her first lego set that she'll have ever built uh it's weird that she doesn't really build them at all given the amount i do but um yeah it's just uh, hard getting it uh, to happen but uh you've uh, you've forced that now morris so well done to you so thanks again to rick from the netherlands gareth from wales and morris of course for his incredible generosity uh with the uh, pirates of the caribbean set and his uh, reduction of his own collection it's so generous uh it always makes me and mrs hood this time choke up uh, so it's fantastic to uh receive uh if you want to send something to, to a future brick call for me to open and add to Brick Nottingham, then do so to the usual address. You can also send Mrs. Hood something if you want to. Uh, we also really appreciate getting uh, letters and pictures as well if you just want to send a photograph of your Lego city. Uh, I guess you could do it by email as well to the address on my About page. That would be fine. Uh, and as always, thank you very much for watching. It is appreciated. Do remember to like, comment and subscribe for more awesome LEGO videos. And if you value this channel, there are many ways in which you can support it. Do check out the links in the description below. Uh, now on Friday, I think we'll be doing a mock build. It's too early probably to use any of this sort of stuff in my planning. But uh, I don't know exactly what I'll be doing, so I'll have to look at what's available. Uh, I'm going to have to change the uh, itinerary a bit because I was expecting to get some of the pieces at that BrickLink order this week, but we'll do that next time. Um, and then on Monday, well, we also need something new as well. So I have no clue what I'm doing at the moment next, so uh, you'll have to bear with me. Uh, but whatever we do, I'm sure it'll be awesome. So until then, see you! I can't concentrate now. <laughs> this, is, this is just... I'm going to have an early lunch. <laughs>